My name is Tim Bennix and this is a Turbo Tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will be having a look at how you can add few components with Nuxt Content V2. And there's this whole lovely new markdown language that's called MDC that the Nuxt team came out with. And you can really nicely and easily add your um, few components into these markdown files. So let me show you how you do that. So we're here in uh, my VS Code and you, as you can see, this is a Nuxt 3 project and I've loaded the Nuxt content module. And so um, I've set it up in a way where I'm actually using Nuxt page. So I have a pages um, folder within it a slug. And basically I'm using the content doc function. If you want to know more about that, go to the Nuxt content v2 documentation. But what that means is every file that I put in the content folder actually becomes a root automatically. So I have an index root and an about root. Actually about is basically just home goes back to back to home, it's very simple. So let's have a look at this index root here. And so you can see my header one, and then here I have a component called cast member. And you can see this is Rachel, um, maybe you should take a break, which is basically from the TV show Friends, which I love. Um, so that component is actually here in components slash content, and then the component, that's important. It has to be in the content folder. And so that is very simple. It has uh, two props, a line and a name, so Rachel and whatever line she says. And as you can see, I've also added a slot here and we can show that off um, in a second. So basically, um, if you go back here to this index markdown, this is the way you can add components in MDC. So let's have a look how this looks and then after this, I'll show you another way to also do it. So in the browser, let's refresh. So we have next content with friends, that's the header one. And then this is that component, Rachel, and maybe we should take a break. Let me just zoom that in for a sec. There you go. Um, I've also added that slot, right, in this component. Here, slot. So what I can do, actually, when I go back to the markdown file, I can actually do, this is a slot. And this is now rendered inside that component. And so this is a really nice and easy way to be able to add components or from few inside markdown. Um, there's also another way, and I take that from my clipboard. Um, you can also do it simpler, right? Cast member with one colon, and then the rest is kind of like props. So when I refresh this one, there you go. It works exactly the same. And this just makes editing in markdown really simple. And um, there you go. That's what I wanted to show you. I think Nuxt content is super awesome. And as far as I know, the Nuxt lab teams um, are doing a lot of work on the content and the markdown stuff going forward. So I'm very excited about that. Anyways, that's what I wanted to show you. If you have any comments, questions, remarks, go to the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.